It's prefab the only way for contractors to survive in the Middle East competitive MEP market? I'm Neha Bhatia and this is Rajiv Pillai. Welcome to Construction Week in Focus. Regional contractors say traditional on-site MEP methods are dying out and that they must modernize to survive. Rajiv, is now the time for prefab to revolutionize and bring about a change in the Middle East's MEP sector? Yes, Nia, most definitely. Uh, prefab has been the buzzword for a while now, and uh, most new companies uh, are launched on the promise of offering uh, prefabrication modular construction. Um, some companies such as you know FECO and BK Gulf, they have been carrying out prefabrication for a long time now, and most recently Plafond uh, has been adopting prefabrication for their projects. Um, if I understand correctly, even prefab comes with some limitations, some drawbacks, such as um, an architectural inflexibility. Uh, but that said, do the benefits of prefab outweigh these limitations? Absolutely. Uh, prefab uh, allows project stakeholders uh, to predict their process and control outcomes. Uh, for contractors, this means that they can control labor and material costs as well as the quality of their projects. Uh, the precision and price effectiveness of prefabrication will definitely help MEP contractors stay competitive in the market. All right, sounds like traditional MEP contractors will have to adopt new techniques to ensure that they aren't phased out of the market. You've been watching Construction Week in Focus. If you like this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular updates. We publish new episodes of Construction Week in Focus each Tuesday at 9 a.m. We'll see you again next week. Thanks very much for watching.